Solana 100. Can it happen? <clears throat> is Solana a one hit wonder going from 20 to 60? Or is there more or even a lot more as the idea of ETH killers actually comes to fruition? I'm your host, Bill Noble. If you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. If you're looking for more, check out my Patreon in the link down below. Patreon slash unhinged crypto. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live and hit the like button on this early and often. Okay, let's get to Solana 100. Can it happen? The answer is yes. This is being recorded on November 14th. After Solana ran up from, say, 25 to 50, almost on a rope. Now, it's not atypical for there to be one coin markets, meaning one coin can just go and go and go. But there's a reason why Solana can just keep going. So let's take a look at the daily chart. Again, this is going to be short term for this longer lasting video. So Solana has recently embarked on a classic DeMarc uptrend. As you can see here, you know, it went <clears throat> sort of one through nine. That's the first part of the trend, took a three-day break, and then extended all the way up to make the famous DeMarc 13 top. Now, one of the ways you know that institutional money is flowing into Solana is if you get this 13 top, you get a couple of wicks and maybe a couple of down days, and then the next thing you know, there are small green candles underneath the market, meaning down, down, and then green candles showing likely that institutions are buying any dip that they can. Any dip. Why? Because hedge funds have got to be invested in Solana for the next cycle. In other words, come December of this year, if hedge funds are not showing Solana on their books, they're going to be considered morons. Now, let's look at a, at a more tactical viewpoint. If Solana doesn't go back below, say, 50, then the next level is 62 on the upside. So if Solana can take that out, you can set up a hidden pivot target to 93. So this is the first chart that shows if the dip in Solana is limited, you have targets above 90. Now, this is a Solana weekly chart. This white line is a 45 degree GAN line. Okay. And this is called GAN fan lines in trading view. What I do is I draw the 45 degree line and then I match it up with the fan lines so that, you know, this is almost like it's as close to drawing it by hand as you can get. One thing you'll notice down here is that when Solana finally took out 21, when they took out this GAN level, it reacted. Right. And then you had four consecutive up weeks. Now, looking at the GAN work, there's nobody home here until 92. So Solana can chop around, but there really isn't actual resistance until 92. So that's the second chart in a row showing Solana can hit up to 90. Now, believe it or not, here's the big chart in Solana. So Solana goes up to 60. Yay, right? Go straight up. Looks like it's, you know, completely overextended, but is it? Really, it's inside this range and it's returned back to sort of the, you know, high uptick from back in the Celsius days. So it was like Celsius FTX. There was one final rally and then Solana died for, you know, a year and a half. If you remember the famous phrase, the bigger the base, the higher in the space, really all Solana and total two, which is total crypto market cap, just minus Bitcoin, Solana and total two look the same. All they've done is gone to the high end of the, of the range that goes back to, you know, mid Celsius period. So if Solana ever broke out of this, it's the bigger the base, the longer it sits, the higher in the space. So, I mean, if Solana went and retraced the whole Celsius mess, you could go to 120. Now, why would, why would Solana retrace the Celsius mess? Well, Chainlink did. And whatever Chainlink did, as far as I'm concerned, 
Solana can do because this is a leadership coin in the space. So a lot of people are like, well, it's too late. I can't buy Solana. Okay, yeah, you missed the first part of the rally, but this hasn't even broken out yet. It has not broken out yet. Okay, now if we look at Fibonacci speed fan lines, which I want to get to now. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen and go to a bit of live TA. So I can show the Fibonacci speed fan lines in Solana closer okay now this this is your chart that has the bigger the base the higher in the space but what you can see hopefully better on trading view is that if you start here right and then you draw the bottom of these fib speed resistance lines these are diagonal lines drawn using fibonacci math you know you can see that if they break out of this box the next diagonal level is 87. And if Solana shows the kind of bid that it might, right? Because Bitcoin isn't going to do anything until January when the institutions buy it. I mean, you got a minimum upside target of 87. So I've got 87, right? And then I've got 92. And then if you look at the DeMarc work, Okay, so DeMarc work will draw support and resistance lines automatically. In this case, it's drawing it at the unwind, right, from August of 2023. So this was the final Solana give up trade last year. Okay. Oh, wait, wrong chart. Okay, so there's the Solana, there's the Solana chart, the Solana weekly chart with April of 2022. And the DeMarc work is saying exactly the same thing as all the other methodologies, that if it retraces where the DeMarc work perceives the final leg lower occurred, that's 110. Now, a lot of people have 80, maybe someone's talking 90, but I don't think anyone's talking about 110. You have a nine structure set up here, which means you could have a pause week this week or next week. But if this is the pause week, then next week could be the blow off top, like the real blow off top. Okay. You know, that could also occur, say, after the US Thanksgiving Day holiday. But if you see shallow dips in Solana, you know that hedge funds mean business. Now, one of the reasons why hedge funds need to mean business is that giant pension funds and mutual funds, you know, going back to the reason hedge funds were invented to begin with, big giant mutual funds and pension funds invest money in hedge funds as just that, a hedge. So if they can't do crypto themselves, they just allocate money to a crypto hedge fund. So crypto hedge funds know a, a sort of torrent of money is coming. They are going to buy now. Like and subscribe to the channel, Patreon slash Unhinged Crypto, in the description below, more value than you'll get anywhere at that price. I'm your host, Bill Noble. We'll see you next time.